Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm going to read a little part of a story called Provision, which I wrote when I was in um, Rapid City, South Dakota. I went there um, to research a novel, which is going to come out in 2022. And it is a novel about power. And it was kind of inspired by the idea years ago, in 2016 was that, that um, a certain Mr. Trump might try to attempt to become president and we all know how that turned out. But um, there were a few different things that all came together and inspired me. And I love the look of the place. It was absolutely stunning, but it had a dark history to it, much like Northern Ireland, I suppose, in a way. So I got an ACES grant from the Arts Council of Northern Ireland and I went there and one Sunday um, I just wrote this, this story, came out as well as the novel. Um, it was first published quite shortly after I came back by the Honest Ulsterman. Um, and it, is, it was really whenever I was in um, South Dakota, children were being detained at the Mexican border. And I'd also heard about someone setting up a PO box for to collect letters for God. So all these different things formulated and um, you know how it is when you're writing a short story, you, three things kind of slot together and then you have got your story. So this is about Parker who likes to write letters to the, um, to the local paper. Provision. The rain like chaos hits the window and glides down and over the ledge onto the gray soil of the lot turning it fresh and black as ink. Parker taps his pen on the desk to the beat of rainwater that drums in an old paint pot sitting by his feet. The skylight has let in buckets of the stuff, which keeps bringing old chips of paint back to life. Out of the window, the cattle step through sweet clover that is already flattened by the sweet smelling rain. Having always known the importance of letters, Parker drafts one for the local paper, having to share his opinion, which often derails halfway through the letter's composition. But as long as he is passionate about a cause at the time Parker is writing, and he is, this is good enough for him. This time there's no changing of minds. That's just the start of provision. And it is the second story in Everybody's Happy, which is a book of short stories about art Shadows and Self, and it is released on the 7th of May, 2021. Thank you.